In this world, wondrous creatures, dragons, and wizards all live in harmony. These sorcerers join together and four guilds mastering all kinds of magics and spellcasting. Divinish Magia, Grimshade, the Wandering Coins, and the Protectors all compete in the Grand Magic Games to become the Paramount Wizarding Establishment. Welcome to Fairy Tale Origins. What is going on everybody? Brick Builder here. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Minecraft Fairy Tale Origins Roleplay. Now today, this is like a special episode that I usually do at the end of my roleplay series, at the end of my origin series specifically. I do a little behind the scenes Q&A, kind of, you know, answer some unspoken questions, just kind of clarify things or talk about things that happen behind the scenes throughout the production of the series if you guys do enjoy and you want to see more content on the channel make sure to leave a like and subscribe and i ask the questions on my community post so let's go ahead and dive into some of the questions all right so the first question is how much planning do you do for each episode and the truth of it is it depends on the episode some episodes and some arcs that we did throughout the series had quite a lot of planning and other ones were very off the cuff and just very like spontaneous I think that some of my best content is derivative off spontaneous stuff. Like I'm, I think improv is like where I enjoy like comedic improv is like probably one of my most fun parts about doing these series. So like, for instance, like me and Stu doing our episode where we're in the hospital together, stuff like that to me is just so much fun. And that's like a very spontaneous, like not much planning goes into that. Whereas something like obviously joining the protectors as the finale, that took a bit more planning and you know communication and all that stuff but it all worked out great so how much planning for the whole series did you do like plot line character etc um as far as my characters i don't usually do too much planning with my character and the reason for that is because i don't really i don't develop my characters probably as much as i could in some of my series because i'm focusing more on a like different events and how my character interacts with other people as opposed to like personal character development that might change a future series though for sure and then plotline plotline was very loosely planned by me and Stu, like as far as what we were going to be doing throughout most of the series together kind of collaboratively um i'll definitely say he took a big majority of the planning into his own hands but rightfully so i mean he was very good at directing us where we needed to go and together i think we crafted a great story and it was a lot of fun for both of us what was my favorite episode to film I think my favorite episode to film would have to be one of I think the hospital episode is probably my favorite episode just because again like that episode is just so funny and a little backstory on that episode we actually filmed that episode twice the first time we filmed that episode we both lost our audio or something something happened in either audio or like the video corrupted or something like that and we had to re-record the scenes and like we like in the first time was hilarious and we were cracking up and like the joke that i remember doing is like i don't know i remember like i broke something in there like i broke some machine or something and i didn't know like that it made a noise when you broke it so i like legitimately was confused in the middle of the recording and like it was just like it was just a hilarious time to be honest and just a really fun one of course we did end up refilming that but it was you know we used different jokes and stuff so for the most part it was fine and it worked and honestly the second time around was pretty good too it was just like we had extra practice all right are you planning on doing any songs in the future like joining songs people were already doing or solo songs so this is probably referencing that the fact of my finale ends with a song of course i'm not singing in it 
um only like the core protectors guild members are am i interested in doing songs in my videos as of now not really i don't really want to like overstep on what other people are doing and just kind of like take bits and pieces of everybody else's like uniqueness if that makes sense maybe in the future i'll do my own songs and stuff like that because i definitely think it would be fun to do but i'm just not sure that integrating music into my role plays is what i'm gonna be doing right now it, it could happen in the future i'm not saying it's impossible but as of now not too interested in joining songs just because i've seen how long those take to make and to be quite honest i really don't have that much time to dedicate to them what's your favorite moment while filming fto all right favorite moment filming fto so i'm doing some episode i don't remember what episode it was but we're planning to do this episode me Stu, and kayla and me and Stu are filming like a, pre a beginning scene as kayla's still asleep or like getting ready or something like that because this was like early in the morning we're filming and me and Stu are just filming and we're doing our thing we've been filming probably for like four or five minutes which is like that's how long the scene was meant to be like four or five minutes whatever and we're in the middle of filming we're like wrapping up like the final few lines and kayla joins the discord call and sings that kylie jenner rise and shine meme i don't know if you guys know what that is but we had to redo the whole scene because like the energy was just like lost when we tried to come back so we had to redo the whole thing but it was just such a funny moment and unfortunately i stopped my recording slightly too early to really capture a good view of this otherwise i would have included it here um i believe that some one some, some of us tweeted like a little clip but it's not really enough to accurately tell the whole story but overall that was just a really funny moment and like you know it just goes to show that like the best memories of this is like there's just the fun friend stuff like that's always going to be the truth of it you know like what makes this series so much fun to be a part of is just everybody's so passionate and hardworking, and you know just fun to be around as well like you know, like no one's difficult to work with or anything like that okay what is the hardest thing about role playing versus non role play content okay well the difference is pretty big to be honest because i i've done like multiple like i've done hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos and some of those are role playing some of those aren't and there's definitely some very big aspects between the two that i think like are very um important like with role play content especially now when it's something like origins focused it's, it's very collaborative and you have to make sure that you're like maintaining that you know like you're kind of creating a story and you're creating something bigger where a lot of my other content is very like a lot of it's not like storyline focused and whether that's a good thing or a bad thing is like something that can be debated but it's just like a different way to produce content but i wouldn't really have it any other way because like i thrive off being able to do like whatever whenever like i need to be able to have that like ability to express whatever creative i'm feeling at the time so whether that's you know trying to get a big collab with 20 other youtubers or it's something like i just want to play bed wars for a video or like whatever it is i just need to be able to express myself creatively like that because that's what keeps me from getting burnt out and that's like very important that i prevent that now of course the role play content is fun as well but i just i need to be able to balance it with other content as well in my opinion how are you so good at mods building and efficiently placing blocks um i'm good at mods just because i've played mods a lot like I don't know if people know because like i don't think i've made too much modded content on my channel but like i yeah i used to play a lot of modded survival with like friends and all that such stuff i haven't really done too much content on mods personally like i do videos here and there and then like the roleplay videos happen and stuff but you know it just is what it is plus nowadays like it's so easy there's so many different awesome youtubers who are like showing you how to use mods and mods are getting easy and more accessible and it's just like it's a good thing to see for sure for the modding community um how am I so good at building? I don't know if I'm that good at building. Like, I mean, like I, I'm good at certain building certain things. I'm just terrible at building other things. I don't know. I just, I just enjoy it. It's just fun and like therapeutic in a way. It's just, I don't know. It's like a fun thing I like doing. So I'll do it whenever I get a chance. And you know, I make some cool builds and origins sometimes. Like for instance, like this house here, isn't really anything crazy. Like this build here, like I didn't build this whole house. The house is already there. And I just kind of changed some structure of it. Put my vault up there, changed a few blocks here and there. And then actually Brian, the famous films, helped me decorate back here because I was trying to decorate this place and it did not look good at all. So he came back here and he like started helping me and it was pretty good. This couch though, in this terrible position, I'm pretty sure this was me. <laughs> I think that was the only thing I added to the place was the couch that blocks the exit. Um, and then efficiently placing blocks. I don't know, I can just click really fast from lots of PVP. And then also any memorable funny moments. 
I mean, I definitely think that the rise and shine would take the cake as one of the funniest moments. Like, I just firmly believe that that was hilarious. And I think I'll always find that funny. I, I mean, I'm not even really sure why, like looking back at it, but just in the moment, like we were just cracking up and having like the funnest time probably ever. And I don't know, it's just a lot of fun, but that's going to do it guys for all the questions I answer in today's fairy tale origins behind the scenes look into the series if you guys have any more questions that you want to ask that you didn't get to ask for this video put them in the comment section and i will go through those and answer as many of those as i can thank you guys so much for supporting this series i really appreciate it all the views likes comments all that sort of thing and brand new subscribers we got absolutely appreciate how engaged everybody was with this series and hopefully you guys will continue to watch the new origins that we got right now going on and the future ones and all the other content that's to come because we got a lot of cool stuff in the works so thanks for watching everybody i really appreciate you i'll see you in another video surely leave a like and subscribe bye